Sebastian Stan and Annabelle Wallace are seemingly confirming their rumored romance. The pair were photographed holding hands on Wednesday as they walked down the streets of New York City as seen in photos obtained by the Daily Mail. The two were bundled up in long coats as they walked the dog and the pigs. The couple has not officially spoken out about their romance, but they first sparked dating rumors after a photo of them kissing was posted on social media in May. Annabelle was previously linked to Chris Pine, whom she reportedly dated from 2018 to March 2022. Sebastian was previously rumored to be dating Spanish actress Alejandra Onieva. The photos of the pair come on the heels of the Avengers Endgame star's first Golden Globe nomination. Sebastian was nominated for Best Actor in a Limited Series for his portrayal of Tommy Lee in Pam and Tommy. Back in March, the 40-year-old told Access Hollywood the best and worst parts of playing the famous drummer. The transformation into Tommy was so spot on. What was the best part and the worst part? Well, um, the worst part was sort of just like thinking about tattoos because I don't have tattoos or playing the drums or sort of um, being a rock star, which I don't really know a lot about. But but then the best part was the camera test with uh, Lily that we had um, before we started shooting where I think Bochi and I looked at each other and said, OK, maybe hair and makeup <laughs> really saved us on this. Congratulations, it's amazing. Tell us about it. This is uh, Roberta Cavalli, and I'm. it's straight off the runway in Milan, and um, I just love it. I thought it was um, pretty special. <laughs> and um, your portrayal of Pam, Pam is so amazing, but there's a sort of a message in the movie. What, message, what do you want people to take away about uh, that time in Pam's life? I think that um, the message of the piece is for us to really like look at ourselves, look at our own culpability in this very unhealthy kind of celebrity internet culture. Culture, look at privacy, look at like the violation of women through in the media, and there's so much in <laughs> in the series. And I think that by now we've got to episode eight. I hope people have really seen that. I mean, I, I, it would be impossible not to. So um, there was definitely a bigger picture and a deeper, timely message that we wanted to explore.